Here we have a 2007 Volkswagen Turan in grey. The car is not in too bad condition but it is showing signs of its age as you'll see throughout the video. If we start with the offside front tyre. As you can see not a great deal amount of tread, looking at around 3 to 4 millimetres. Looking at the front alloy, you've got signs of corrosion to the alloy itself. As you can see there is a few patches of corrosion there. Some light scratches on the alloy as well but no signs of any curbing at all. Looking down the off side of the vehicle, um, taking a good look, there's a few very light dinks in both the doors. No signs of any dents though. Uh, mirror caps in nice condition with no marks of that at all. A couple of scratches to driver's door just require a good polish. No chips at all down the door edge. Um, sills are in nice condition with no marks of those. And as you can see, you've got your roof bars on top as well. Looking at the rear door again, just a few scratches to the paintwork as you can see. Uh, nothing too major by the looks of things, and again the majority of them very light so should be able to polish out without a problem. A couple of scratches below the door as well. Moving towards the offside rear quarter, again just a couple of light scratches but apart from that no signs of any serious damage. Uh, look at the rear tyre, look at a good 5mm there. And look at the rear alloy again, some few signs of corrosion to the alloy. Um, you've got this uh, sort of polished effect to the wheel so it is quite... Um, Easy uh, for the corrosion if not looked after. Got my little bit of a curve there as you can see as well. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the back, there's a very small dent in the boot, um, as you can probably see. Just try and get a better angle of that. As you can see there, it's around fingertip size. A lot of light scratches and some of them quite deep, as you can see there on the back. So a lot of scratches to the back of the vehicle as you can see there so a good polish required to the back you have got a good scuff as well to the near side rear these should polish out as a very light but this one as you can see is deeper and the rear light is cracked uh, it's been taped over as you can see here so a crack around the light so do be aware of that as well apart from that I can't see anything else quick look in the boot now the car is a 7 seater, you've got your two seats there that flick up and you've got both of the headrests in there as well for the seats which is great. Very dirty inside though, requires a good valet. As you can see there's a few scratches to the back of the seats etc as well, it's very dirty. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Looking at the near side rear tyre and again looking at around 5mm. Looking at the, uh, the rear alloy as you can see you've got some scuffs and corrosion as well to the alloy in some certain places as you can see there and some curbing as well looking at the near side of the car yeah, you've got a small dent and a couple of dinks in the front passenger door no signs of any major dents um, no chips at all in the rear door and again just requires a good polish as there is scratches to the paintwork scratches to the door handle, no chips at all to the door edge there as you can see a small dent on the top of the door and again, some very small dinks as well. Um, and again, around a fingertip dink. So as you can see, it's all just age-related marks, really. 4mm or 3 to 4mm on the front tyre. And again, some scratches and a bit of corrosion to this front alloy as well. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, you've got some stone chips to the uh, bumper and also to the bonnet. As you can see, Dotted around the bonnet there, there's quite a few stone chips, no signs of any damage to the front bumpers though. Moving inside the vehicle, full cloth interior but it is very dirty inside, again requires a good valet. Uh, no signs of any damage at all to the cloth, but uh, again like I said it is very dirty, there's a few stains etc in the interior of the vehicle, but like I said no signs of any damage. Look at the driver's seat, again looks well, bolsters look well as uh, also with no signs of any damage to the driver's seat and it's the same with the front passenger seat as well, dashboard is relatively tidy and the steering wheel is in nice condition as well, bit of a hole down the floor mat but nothing beneath it, um, look at the keys here, you've got two sets of keys with the vehicle and if we just get the car started. As you can see, it does start first time with no issues at all there. 92,251 uh, 92, miles on the clock. 
As you can see, the rear brake light not working. That is why the symbol will be showing there. Look at this system. You can see the screen is a little bit uh, pixelized there. Um, no problems at all functioning in the car. Sounds great. You got a CD player. Air conditioning there as well. And that comes out nice and cold. Also, uh, manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents. Looking at the V5, the car's had one owner. It does come with an MOT certificate, which you can see April 20th, 2015. And you do have a service book here with quite a substantial amount of service history. It is full but non-franchise, or partial franchise, sorry. First one at 20,000 at Volkswagen, 35 at Volkswagen again, 57 at Volkswagen, and the last one there at 71 um, at a non-franchise group. Oh, sorry. And the last one there at 91,000. So very recently serviced, and it was a full service as well. So that's great. There we go, that's 2007 Volkswagen Taran SE TDI. There's a couple of age related marks on the outside of the vehicle and some corrosion to the alloys. Nothing too serious. Uh, car could do with a good valet, but for its age, it's not in bad condition.